here in the i button and in description box below you will get complete playlist of numerical solution of ordinary differential equation welcome to video number 11 and in this particular video we are going to see second type of predictor corrector method that is adams bashford predictor corrector method in the previous video that is in video number 10 we have discussed about the first type of predictor corrector method that is milnes predictor corrector method where we have discussed the working rule of uh, milnes predictor corrector method along with a very 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 good question so in this particular video, we are going to see the working rule of uh, Adams Bashford predictor corrector method. Along with that, we'll try to take a very good question to see how to solve such problems. Okay. So consider the ordinary differential equation that is dy upon dx equals to f of x comma y. This is always given in the problem. Along with one more thing that is with initial condition y equals to y naught when x equals to x naught okay so in problem you will have these two things okay that is function x comma y and initial condition that is at x equals to x naught y equals to y naught and let's suppose you need to find the value of y when x equals to x n and the minimum value of n to go for this method is how much 4 minimum value of n must be 4 okay so that we can use this method okay now to apply both Milne and Adams Bashford method, we need four starting values of y. Okay, that is y not, y1, y2, and y3. Okay, at x not y equals to y not, at x1 y equals to y1, at x2 y y equals to y2, at x3 y equals to y3. Okay. Now let's suppose these values are not given in the problem. That is y at x1 y at x2 and y at x3 so you need to use any one of the method that is picard's method or taylor series method or euler's method or modified euler's method or lunge kutta method so that we can find the various values of y let's suppose these values are given that is y at x1 y at x2 and, and y at x3 if these values are given then we need to skip this step okay then calculate f naught f1 f2 and f3 okay here we have the function x comma y okay so in place of x we will put x naught in place of y we will put y naught then you will get f naught in place of x if you put x1 in place of y if you put y1 then you will get f1 in the same way if you put x2 and y2 in the function you will get f2 yes if you put x3 and y3 in the function you will get f3 okay after finding this we can come to the adams bashford predictor formula okay and what is that that is y4 equals to y3 plus h upon 24 55 f3 minus 59 f2 plus 37 f1 minus 9 f0 okay yes after finding y4 we have to calculate f4 okay which is equals to f of x4 comma y4 how to find x4 yes x4 equals to x3 plus h what is h that is width of differencing okay that is equals to x1 minus x0 or you can say x2 minus x1 or you can say x3 minus x2 okay you will get that is equals to h okay so after finding x4 here we have y4 so we can find f4 okay now we have to go for adams bashford character formula and the formula is y4 equals to y3 plus h upon 24 into 9 f4 plus 19 f3 minus 5 f2 plus f1 okay now after using this character formula we have the value of y4 okay you can declare that as answer but you can get an improved value of y4 that is very close to accuracy okay how an improved value of y4 is then computed okay and again adams bashford character formula is applied okay what does it mean that is after finding y4 by using adams bashford character formula again we will calculate f4 okay then again use this formula and in place of f4 we'll put this value okay then again we'll find y4 and we will see whether up to four decimal places or two decimal places or three decimal places values are matching or not okay. again Adams Bashford character formula is applied to find a still better value of y4. We repeat this step until y4 remains unchanged. Okay. After finding y4, let's suppose you want to find y5. What you need to do is yes. Let's suppose you want to find y5. So 
yes in the subscript simply go for increment of 1 okay that is y5 equals to y4 plus h upon 24 55 f4 minus 59 f3 plus 37 f2 minus 9 f1 in the same way this this formula will become that is adams bashford character formula will become y5 equals to y4 plus h upon 24 into 9 f5 plus 19 f4 minus 5 f3 plus f2 okay in the same way you can find y6 y7 and so on okay now let us come to the very 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 good question the question says using adams bashford method obtain the solution of dy upon dx equals to x minus y square at x equal to 0 0.8 given that yes here we have some values of x and corresponding values of y okay that is at x equals to 0 y equals to 0 this this value of x is x naught similarly this will be x1 this is x2 and this is x3 okay so in the same way this will become y0 y1 y2 and y3 okay if this is x0 this is x1 this is x2 and this is x3 so this is going to be x4 okay and what is the value of h that is width of differencing here you can see x1 minus x0 that is 0 0.2 or you can say x2 minus x1 that is again 0 0.2 or you can say x3 minus x2 that is again 0 0.2 or you can say x4 minus x3 that is again 0 0.2 so we can say that is width of differencing is always constant okay. so here we have h equal to 0 0.2 and function that is x minus y square okay both are given in the problem we need to find the value of y at x4 that is 0 0.8 okay so here we have x0 that is 0 x1 that is 0 0.2 x2 that is 0 0.4 and x that is 0 0.6 okay and in the same way the values of y are also given okay that is y naught equal to 0 y1 equal to 0 0.02 y2 equal to 0 0.0795 and y3 is also given that is 0 0.1762 okay so in the function if you put x naught and y naught this f will become f naught that is 0 okay again if you put x1 and y1 in this function you will get f1 equals to 0 0.1996 okay similarly if you put x2 and y2 value in this function you will get f2 equal to 0 0.3937 put x3 and y3 in this function you will get f3 equals to 0 0.5690 up to four decimal places now we have all this value and as that is 0 0.2 now we can come to adams bashford predictor formula okay to find the value of y4 that is y3 plus h upon 24 55 f3 minus 15 f2 plus 37 f1 minus 9 f naught okay we have all the values here okay yes simply put the value and you will get y4 equal to 0 0.3050 up to four decimal places okay now after finding y4 we can find f4 that is f of x4 comma y4 and what is the value of x4 that is 0 0.8 and what is function function of x comma y that is x minus y square okay so in this function if you put x equal to 0 0.8 and y equals to 0 0.3050 you will get f4 that is equals to 0 0.7070 up to four decimal places now again we will use adams bashford character formula okay yes that is y4 equals to y3 plus h upon 24 9 f4 plus 19 f3 minus 5 f2 plus f1 okay so in place of f4 we need to put this value okay so you will get y4 equals to 0 0.3046 okay now you can say that this is my answer but i want to get a better value of y4 so we'll go for iteration okay so for iteration you can see in y4 formula of bashford adams bashford character formula we have f4 so we will find f4 again that is f of x4 comma y4 what is x4 that is 0 0.8 and what is y4 that is this value okay don't go for this value okay go for this value so i'm putting x4 at 0 0.8 and y4 as 0 0.3046 you will get f4 equals to 0 0.7072 using adams bashford character formula we need to find y4 that is y3 plus h upon 24 9 f4 plus 19 f3 minus 5 f2 plus f1 again in this f4 we need to put this value not this value okay so in this you will get y4 equals to 0 0.3046 if you see both the values are matching up to four decimal places so we can say finally that is y4 that is y at x equal to 0 0.8 is equal to 0 
four six up to four decimal places and this is my final answer okay thank you thank you so much